Recently, I converted my 6-volt Ford 9N tractor to a 12-volt system. Though not necessary, as part of the conversion, I replaced the old distributor with a new one. Lesson learned, check that the timing is correct before installing a new distributor. This distributor came out of the box with the timing firing too late in the compression stroke. As a result, the engine had reduced power and the exhaust gases were so hot, the exhaust manifold started glowing red. So how do you check the timing and adjust it if needed? The first thing I did was label the plug wires, so I didn't mix them up or need to retrace them back to the cylinder they attached to. Carefully remove the spark plug wires, then remove the positive voltage wire on top of the coil, remove the two mounting bolts on each side of the distributor, remove the distributor, and mark the rotor shaft position so you know what position it needs to be in when you reinstall it. I put a small scratch on the side of the shaft that faces up when mounted to the engine. If you don't do this and reinstall it opposite of what it needs to be, your engine may not start, it may backfire continuously, it may be underpowered and die, or all of the above. Release the bale holding the coil to the distributor and set the coil and gasket aside. Release the spring clips holding the cap onto the distributor and set the cap aside. Remove the rotor and dust cover. Now that the new distributor is open, the first thing I'm going to do is check the points gap. The gap should be set at 15 thousandths. Rotate the shaft until the points gap is open and insert a 15 thousandths feeler gauge. If it doesn't slide between the points or it's very tight, adjust them open slightly. If there is some play in the gap with the gauge inserted, close the points until the gauge is snug, but not too tight. To make gap adjustments, loosen the two hold down screws, then slowly turn the eccentric screw while the feeler gauge is between the points until the gauge slides between them without extra play or binding. Leave the gauge in place and retighten the hold down screws. This is a picture from the Ford manual regarding proper timing. You may want to find this online or in a Ford manual if you have one for more precise instruction. But here's the gist of it. You want the points to open when the shaft is angled one quarter of an inch away from the mounting hole closest to the timing plate. To check the timing of the points, I'm using a multimeter with a continuity tester. If the points are closed, it'll beep. The beep stops when they open. I've attached alligator clips to the multimeter probes. The other end of the clips get clamped to each side of the points. I've scribed a mark a quarter inch from the hole, and I'm using a steel ruler clamped to the shaft to check the point timing as it passes the quarter inch mark. It's a little hard to see here, but the continuity beep continues beyond the quarter inch mark. This is the timing problem causing the low horsepower and red exhaust. The timing needs advanced. Loosen the lock screw on the timing plate, then move the timing plate and recheck the beep with the scribed mark and ruler until the beep stops the moment the ruler crosses the mark one quarter inch from the mounting hole. Once this happens, the timing should be perfect. Retighten the lock screw on the timing plate, then double check that the timing of the points opening, the beep stops, is correct. Once the timing is verified, place the dust cover back over the points and reinstall the rotor. Put the cap back into place and attach the spring clips. Put the coil gasket onto the coil Ensure that the spring on the coil is seated in the divot on top of the distributor and slide the bale back into place. Put the distributor gasket back on the distributor. Turn the shaft until the scribed mark is facing up to ensure proper alignment with the engine, then reinstall it on the tractor. After the sun went down, I drove the tractor around. There was a noticeable difference in horsepower, engine sound, and the exhaust is no longer glowing red.